All right. Okay, students. So you having your books with you already? Occupation. Occupation. So today we are going to start new unit, unit number three, which is food and nutrition. Food and nutrition. We start from page number 45. Page number 45. All right, so let all of your friends join so we can start. All right, students, are you ready? Yeah. I hear only one student. I can't hear the rest of you. Yeah. All right, so our new unit, we are going to learn unit number three, mm. food and nutrition, okay? All right, so first of all, uh, meaning of cooking food, okay? What is the meaning of cooking food? All right, so food, uh, cooking food includes safely preparing and making food. There are, there are different ways to cook good and tasty oh. food. Come on. So, what does it mean by cooking food? Okay, so cooking food, oh. you have to learn oh, yeah. how you can cook uh, tasty food, good food, and safely. While you're cooking, you have to cook it safely. Like, don't harm yourself. Okay, so these are all we are going to learn here. Okay, now cooking food includes safely preparing while you're making, that means preparing and making food. There are different ways to cook good food, okay? Many different ways you can make a good food. All right, so the importance of cooking food. Why cooking is important, okay? So there are many benefits of cooking food by yourself, okay? So cooking food at home allow you and your family to control the quality of food for your family members, okay? What does it mean? It means if you cook food by yourself in your home, so it will allow you and your family to control the quality, to make good quality of food which will be clean and which will be more healthy, okay, for you and for your all your whole family. So you can make sure you can make sure the food your family eat is nutritious and healthy. So the food, if you're cooking by yourself, it will be controlled by yourself. Like you can uh, control by yourself, so you can make a good nutritious food that which is. Nutritious mean like which have uh, rich nutrition, okay, which is good for the health and it will be always healthy. So that's why uh, cooking food, it's very important if you cook by yourself at your home. All right. Now, here are, there are some of the important things to keep in mind when you cook food, okay, whether at home or at school. So these are some of the important things, okay? You always have to keep in your mind while you are cooking in your home or either you are cooking in your school, okay? So number one, buy good quality, buy good quality ingredients which are fresh and hygienic, 
okay so when you are going to market and you buy some food okay you buy some material so you have to buy good quality of ingredients good quality of ingredients means like which are good standard okay good quality ingredients which we are using in our different kind of recipes we need different ingredients so we can choose the best one the good quality and fresh it it always have to be fresh okay not all either vegetable either meat either other ingredients so you have to make sure that it have to be fresh and hygienic hygienic means clean okay especially in order to prevent disease like sometimes we find food uh, in the market re uh, ready made so we don't know what kind of ingredients they use they are using fresh ingredients they are using fresh meat or vegetables or they having any sort of uh, diseases or something so that's why you have to choose good quality of ingredients uh, which is fresh and hygienic okay now number two prepare ingredients and kitchen okay so in the kitchen while we cooking okay so we have to prepare the ingredients and uh, some other utilities of the kitchen okay so those are like a uh, utensil the utensils what we need the instruments all different sort of instruments what we using for cooking in the kitchen okay so those we have to prepare now cook food all the way though okay so serve food correctly so while you're cooking so you have to cook uh, all the way and serve food correctly while you're serving the food to yourself or to serving the food to your family so make sure you are serving it correctly okay students so you have to make sure buy good quality of ingredients and make sure that they are fresh and hygienic okay and prepare ingredients and kitchen utensil those you have to prepare also cook food all the way serve the food correctly these are the important things what you have to make sure okay all right so now number three prepare preparing ingredients and kitchen utensil okay how you are going to prepare the ingredients different type of ingredients and the kitchen utensil what you are using for cooking all right so preparing ingredients and kitchen utensil includes getting fresh food dried food uh, in, in uh, ingredients and kitchen uh, kitchen utensil ready for cooking so while you are preparing uh, ingredients uh, and kitchen utensils so you have to make sure that uh, preparing all kind of ingredients uh, ingredients and kitchen utensils the tools which you are using for cooking including which include fresh food and dry food uh, dry food uh, ingredients and kitchen utensil ready for cooking those you have to make sure and make ready now number three preparing food how you are going to prepare the food okay so while you are preparing food number one meat okay so meat we having different type of meats okay so meat they having fresh meat such as chicken pork and beef uh, chicken pork and beef and seafood like fresh like fish and shrimp should be properly clean before use okay so here for example if you are preparing any kind of food so for that you need you need a meat okay so meat we having different type of meats we having first we have to make sure that fresh meat okay so fresh meat we having like a, such as chicken meat of chicken pork and beef and seafood like a seafood we having different kind of meat like for example we having fish and shrimp and crab all these different type of meats they are from the seafood okay so what you have to do you have to you should properly clean before use 
you have to make sure clean you have to wash it properly okay before you're using it's not like while you use that and then after using you clean it up so first you have to make sure clean and then you use start for preparing your food okay a sharp kitchen knife should be used to chop meat and fresh in order to save time and effort so while you are <coughs> while you are cutting the meat okay all sort of meat chicken pork beef any sort of meat so for that you require a sharp knee a sharp knife so the knife have to be sharp so if the knife is sharp so you can chop that properly okay so what it will happen you can save your time and you can save your effort okay so these are the important thing you have to make sure choose fresh meat all kind of meats okay shrimp pork beef seafood and all and while you're using the knife so make sure that the knife is sharp and you use it carefully okay don't harm yourself all right so it will save your time and it will also save your effort okay students you understand that how you are going to prepare the food yes okay all right what you have to do first you have to prepare the ingredients and kitchen utensil okay you know about the kitchen utensil right all different type of uh, tools what we are uh, the instruments what we are using in the kitchen they are all kitchen utensils okay so those you have to prepare and you have to get the fresh food and dried okay and all ingredients and kitchen utensils you have to prepare and make it ready for cooking all right now <coughs> okay number two number two we have fresh fruit and vegetables okay so fresh fruit and vegetables fresh fruits and vegetables should be uh, rinsed rinsed and clean water before using before use so all as i already mentioned all sort of vegetables and fruits either meat all of those stuff while you are using for preparing food what you have to do you have to clean it you have you have to wash it properly before using okay you have to wash it and then let it dry after that you use it okay now all uh, vegetables that are not going to be cooked should be should be soaked in a mixture of water and vinegar okay though all those vegetables what you are using you use already for cook but the remaining vegetables which are not used so what you have to do you have to soak in a mixture of water and vinegar okay so what will happen it will always stay fresh okay and then resin and the, with the clean water some vegetables like onion garlic should be peeled before chopping so or uh, not all of the vegetables but some vegetables they do have peel okay so what you have to do you have to peel it first like onion and garlic you have to peel it first before you chopping before you cutting it so you have to peel it okay so what you have to do students with vegetables Students, can you reply to me? What you have to do with vegetables and fresh fruit? You should to be. You should to clean it up. You should to clean it properly. Let it dry. Okay, and the ones uh, which are not used. Okay, those you have to soak in a mixture of water and vinegar. Okay. and all sort of uh, not all of vegetable but some vegetables like garlic onion those should be peeled before chopping it all right okay number 3 <laughs> number 
we have seasoning so seasoning what are seasonings so seasoning are those includes ingredients like fish sauce salt sugar lemon juice uh, shrimp paste vinegar and various different sauces the correct amount of these in the uh, ingredients should be placed in appropriate container uh, in appropriate containers ready for use like all these you can see here on the screen all these different type of these are all seasonings okay all these are seasonings right so what they include they include fish sauce okay fish sauce we use for to make it salty okay apart from that salt and sugar lemon juice shrimp paste vinegar and various different sauces so all these different sort of sauces and in ingredients they are all seasoning okay so what you have to do while you are cooking any sort of food so you have to use all these seasoning in a correct amount not too much not less okay not over or not less you have to use it in appropriate amount okay after that while you use it so you have to place it in appropriate container like you can see here these are all different sort of containers okay bottles or any other sort of containers you have to keep it properly okay so you can use it for next time so these are all different type of seasoning which we require for cooking food all right <clears throat> okay now next what you have for uh, preparing kitchen utensil for cooking okay so for cooking we require all different type of uh, instruments so those instruments we call utensils so utensils they are very important for cooking okay so kitchen utensil for cooking should be chosen for for what you plan to cook okay like what you are going to cook so according to that uh, planning you have to choose the kitchen utensil for example for example if you are cooking an omelet okay so the the following uh, utensil will be need so if you are cooking just a simple dish which is omelet making from egg okay so these are the utensils you need one uh, a bowl and a fork for beating the egg so you have to take a bowl and then a, a take a fork for to cut down the egg for beating the eggs then second one frying pan and a fish slice uh, and a fish slice for frying the eggs so for that you require a uh, a frying pan a frying pan while we using for put it on the heat burner okay and we put the eggs into that okay that's what what you require number 3 a plate for serving the omelet on so while you cook already the egg then what you required you required a dish you required a plate just take the egg out of the uh, out of the fry pan and serve it uh, for yourself or for your family member so these are the tools it required for cooking an omelet so similar like that for each different kind of uh, cooking we require different uh, tools okay so what you have to make sure all kitchen utensil need to be cleaned and dried after use and store away from dust and insects so while you finish your cooking what you have to do you have to clean you have to wash all utensil all the <coughs> all the instruments what you use for cooking you have to make sure wash it properly with a dish washing detergent and all after washing you have to make it dry you make sure you make it dry and then you store it somewhere that no insects and no dust reach to that uh, those utensils so it will be always clean all right so these uh, these are the things how you have to take care of the your utensil after using okay so there are some more things to consider when preparing food 
So here we having some of the more things what you have to make sure keep it in your mind when you are making food, preparing food. Number one, cooking area, okay? Cooking area. So the worktop and floor of the kitchen should be clean while the place where you are chopping the uh, vegetables and meat and all and cooking somewhere, those you have to clean. And also the kitchen floor, down floor, you always have to make sure that clean, don't make it messy, don't make it dirty. You always have to make it clean, okay? Number two, stoves and oven. Stoves and oven should always be checked before use. So stoves, stoves, uh, stoves, you know, like uh, the heat burner, uh, the apparatus that burn fuel or either gas, either electricity to provide heat while we cooking, use for cooking. You have to make sure that it's clean. And even the oven, the electric oven, you have to clean it. And you have to make sure first, you have to check it before cooking that it is okay or not. So make sure that uh, stoves and oven are checked before using. All right. Number two, cooking. So while you are cooking, the most important thing is the cook's finger should be regularly cut short. Like for example, if you are cooking and you are using your right hand for all of these things, uh, preparing food, so what you have to make sure you have to cut down your nails, all right? So it have to be cut regularly. Don't keep the nails longer. If you keep the nails longer, so they will have maybe some dust or something inside that, which can, uh, uh, which can be mixed with your food and that is not healthy, all right? So always have to uh, cut, you always have to regularly cut the fingernails, okay? Next, hands must be washed before cooking. You have to make sure, wash your hand while you are cooking. So as you wash the uh, vegetables and meat and all, similar like that, before that, you have to wash your hand properly. So your hands will be clean. Now, uh, while the cooking is being done, the cook should wear a hair net to keep the food clean and hygienic. So once, <coughs> while you are cooking, when you are doing, you are performing cooking food, so you have, to, what you have to do, you have to wear a hair net, okay? The hair net, which cover up your hair. It is for, to keep the food clean and hygienic, all right? So this is very important. These are all some of the more important things, what you have to consider when you are preparing food. All right. So now students, you understand what you have to take the precautions while you're cooking? Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Make sure cooking area mean kitchen, top of the uh, worktop, of the worktop and the floor, you have to make it clean. All right. The stoves and oven should be checked before using. Apart from that, the fingernails, nails of your finger, they have to be cut regularly, okay? Number four, you have to wash your hand before cooking. After that, while you are done, all right, while you are cooking, so you have to wear hair net to keep the food clean. All right, so these are all the important precautions you have to take while you are cooking. All right, now next, now next we have, what do you like to eat? Okay, students, <clears throat> can you let me know what, what kind of food you like? All of you. Hamburger. Hamburger, other students. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> okay. I draw finish. Okay, another student. What kind of food you like? Chicken. I like the noodle. You like noodle. Okay. Other students? 
Tell me about your favorite food. You like barbecue? Any of the students? Chicken barbecue. Okay, okay, students. So here, what you have to do? Any type of food you like, which is your favorite, okay? Like for example, if your favorite food is noodle or soup or uh, grill or uh, steak or any kind of food, what is your favorite? So what you have to do? You have to write the name of the food in here, okay? And you have to draw the picture, okay? Can you draw the picture? It's just in Google. <laughs> you can use, no problem, you can see the picture, but yeah, you can I... use the color uh, pencils, okay? So any kind of food you like, you just write down the name of the food, and also draw the picture of your favorite food. So this is uh, your homework for yourselves. Okay, students? So now this is all for today. All right, teacher? Oh. Yes. Okay, student, who draw finish? I draw finish, but- And you can um, look, right? Yes. Can I see? Um, you can just draw any, yeah. any kind but of... But it really some more. Really some more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's this. <laughs> okay. Ah, next, next, class. I'm going to show you. Ah, draw a picture, ah. Ah, this is what I like. I'm not drawing it yet. ค่ะแล้วเอาไปใส่ว่าเสร็จแล้วระบายสีเสร็จแล้วเอาไปใส่ในอัลบั้มในกรุ๊ปไลน์นะคะคุณครูจะทำอะไรสีอยู่นะค